Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions towards you? As always, these readings are not going to resonate for everyone watching because they're general. So take what resonates for you. If you find that this does not apply much to you, then check out the Pisces playlist I have linked in the description box. Tons of other videos there for Pisces. So let's jump right in for Pisces. Spirit, angels, guides. What does Pisces need to know, Spirit, about this person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know about their thoughts, feelings towards Pisces? What are they thinking, feeling about Pisces? at this time what are they thinking feeling what are they thinking feeling about Pisces at this time okay so we have the two of wands eight of wands two of cups queen of pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy well, I, th I feel like in their mind, this connection with you is very special with the Two of Cups. They feel a connection for sure. Um, there's something a little off here and I don't see it right now. <laughs> I, I could just feel that something is a little bit off. I think with the Eight of Wands, there's some sort of action or communication that they're thinking about making, but they haven't decided probably with the Two of Wands. Um, or this could be a decision about something else. I'm going to clarify in a second, but this is just what I'm seeing initially. Initially, I think they're viewing you as this Queen of Pentacles. Um, there's something about a trip. Obviously, that's not going to be for all of you. But I feel like your person is watching you on a trip. So maybe you're posting pictures about this trip. And seeing you in these photos is making them think of you. Others of you, I just feel like you you look really good right now. <laughs> um, I'm getting a lot of attraction from this card. Um, so I think this is how they're viewing you at this time. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is like the ideal partner. It's somebody that you really want in your corner so let's clarify these and get some insight for you spare why is the two of wands here why is the two of wands here the high priestess yeah I feel like this is them deciding whether to stay quiet or open up maybe they're even like keeping tabs on you in secret here tell me about the two of wands Eight of Swords, yeah, I think they're holding back due to fear. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there again. Um, I think they're holding back. I don't know if it's because they're in a commitment already because I have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The King of Pentacles for me as a reader is typically already in a commitment. But it could also be that they see a commitment future, like a future commitment with you. Um, you know, the King of Pentacles thinking, I just need to be with my Queen of Pentacles. But I feel like this person's holding back due to fear. Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What do we need to know about the Eight of Wands? Why do I keep getting more than one? Yeah, they're holding back. Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles. This person, I feel they're holding back because maybe they're afraid that you're not interested or maybe they're not sure exactly what they want you know you, typically when someone comes to you with communication there's a goal behind that communication so i feel like they're thinking well if i reach out to pisces i wanted to say aquarius there <laughs> if i reach out to pisces then after that what will happen um you know, it's, I'm also getting here, it's almost like this energy of someone being like, well, what if Pisces just brushes me off or answers my question, but just keeps walking? Because there's a reason this person's afraid. 
I'm not sure what history you have with them, but they're definitely holding back here with the Four of Cups and Four of Pentacles. Can I get one more for this Eight of Wands? What do we need to know for this Eight of Wands? Yeah, Three of Wands. It's like they're waiting. They're waiting to reach out, waiting to make a move. And it, I almost feel like they're worried they would be left on red, right? Like if I make this move, Will Pisces just like read my message and then not respond? <laughs> I think to, for them that's even worse. The Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like they're, I, I feel like this person wants to act impulsively. Yeah, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. It's like they just kind of want to just bite the bullet and do it. Um, but there's the hangman, but they're holding back. And it's almost like this this person's thinking well you know once i send that message i can't take it back tell me about this queen of pentacles why is the queen of pentacles here wow the lovers gemini energy yeah this is you tell me about the queen of pentacles they feel a strong connection here with you I think they picture themselves with you. Yeah, six of cups. Yeah, they probably think you're their soulmate or... Yeah, they definitely have... Um, I feel for most of you, this person has a history with you already. A past. There's a past here. Tell me more about this queen. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the magician. Yeah, this person, I feel like there's already a past here. There's a Six of Pentacles. Um, and, and like I said, you know, it's like once they see you or see this photo, they want to do something about it. They're just questioning themselves. Very, very clear energy. Ten of Wands there. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, there's... I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to scratch that. All of you. <laughs> everyone watching this reading that, that this resonates for, because obviously every reading won't resonate for everyone. But if this is resonating for you, I feel like there's already history between you and this person because there has to be a reason why they're holding back so much. I don't know if this is an obstacle. I don't know if it's fear of rejection or fear of... It's even worse than rejection. Like, what if you respond to their message, but the conversation ends right there and they miss their opportunity, right? Uh, you would almost take rejection there because they're left wondering what if. There's already like a baggage here between you and this person. Let's look at their energy. Spirit, what is their overall energy towards Pisces? What is their overall energy? When it comes to this connection. Yeah, burdened heart. There's that burden energy, the Ten of Wands. I feel like this person has been holding back for some time. Or holding on to some sort of difficulty or history between you. Strong bonds. It could also be that they're dealing with some um, obligations on their own. Responsibilities, burdens. Sorry, I just yawned there for a second. Unexpected event. So that's like my tower card. And tied up at the bottom. Yeah, there's definitely something else here. There's some sort of obstacle. There's difficult decision. There's some sort of obstacle that this person is weighed down by. And I think a tower would be the only way to really address this. What else do we need to know? about this person okay why can't i shuffle this stuff what else do we need to know for pisces what else do we need to know spirit for pisces what else do we need to know house house is like you know a home assets could even be a family that is um relevant here be something happening at home yeah bad health and toil and labor so i feel like this person is really dealing with something on their own or 
if something happened between you, it's still affecting them. But I feel like this doesn't really have something to do with you necessarily, Pisces. What are this person's intentions? What are their intentions towards Pisces? What are their intentions, Spirit, towards Pisces? What are their intentions? Three of Cups. This is typically a card about reunions, gatherings, coming together, celebrating together. Tell me more. What are their intentions towards Pisces? The Moon, Pisces energy. There you are. Um, and the world at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. See, I still get this like uncertainty, unknown here with the Moon. It could even be that they don't know how you feel. They don't, I, you know, even if they were to, let's say like their main intention is to come together with you, reunite with you with this Three of Cups, how would this happen? How is this, po how can I make this happen? How is this possible? What needs to, you know, happen here? Tell me about the moon. Page of Swords, oh wait, communicate, get that clarity. It's like your person doesn't have the answers. Tell me about the moon. I think they're going to want to. They're going to want to know how you feel about everything. Taurus energy with the higher font here. Once again, I see them watching you in some way. A photograph. I don't know if that trip happened a long time ago or something like that. But when I see the Page of Swords with the Moon, I think of clearing the air. I think of clarity. Now this has something to do with the Hierophant too. And this is a card about commitment, um, but it's also a card about kind of like doing things in a traditional sense. So they might be, you know, when I see all these energies together, they might want to clear things up with you and be like, hey, I would like to do things the right way. Take our time getting to know each other. Take our time building up to a relationship. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? The Hangman again. With the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person's holding back because whatever they have to tell you involves an apology. Why the hangman? Yep, three of swords. I think that they messed up somewhere down the line and need to apologize to you for something. And that's where the hesitation comes because will you be apologizing or I'm sorry, will you be forgiving them Pisces, right? What else do we need to know about this person? And if the answer is no, you're not forgiving this person, then they don't have a chance. What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is thinking about or connecting with? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Pisces? I wasn't honest with you. Hmm. So they, they must have uh, kept something back from you. I see you in my dreams. Okay. Let me get a hidden truth oracle. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Honestly, all I see as their you know possible intentions for the future is this page of swords. Um, it's that eight of wands, right? Some sort of communication. But I won't lie to you, Pisces. This person is undecided, unsure if they should even do this. What else do we need to know about this person? I will wait for a sign for you. Yeah. They are pretty much waiting on you to see if you would even bite, you know, because they, they are expecting things to not work out or are fearful. Now fear is holding them back from reaching out. 
So that's what I have for you Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.